Hello, friends. <laughs> Woo. It's a new life. I got here at the Cherokee Casino and Hotel yesterday. Um, I think I'm still in Oklahoma, just on the border of Oklahoma and Arkansas, right off of I-40. I've been here before. You guys will probably remember it, but it's a great little stop. You can park for free over here for two days. Um, with full hookups. Just taking soba to go to the potties. Yeah. You've got 30 amp hookups there, 50 amp and 15 amp for electric. Of course, you've got the dump here. There is no water though. Well, actually there is water, but it's, there's a couple red spigots for water down there. And I'm gonna drag this hose when I leave down to the the water spigots and uh to rinse it off but it rained like crazy last night bad storm and this is all flooded now i stepped outside well i was i opened my door to step outside and look what i've got here <clears throat> a huge puddle right in front of the door this sucks all righty friends it's been a while since i turned the camera on actually a few days so i spent the night at walmart last night and resupplied on everything i'm getting prepared to uh, boondock again at a beautiful campsite but i'm finding it very very difficult to get propane first i drove about three miles that way um i am in I'm in Greenwood, Arkansas. They didn't have a meter to fill up an RV for uh, with propane, but they suggested that I come to this tractor supply. Well, I went back up the road pretty much right where I left, and I went to this tractor supply here. Well, I backed it up to get propane, and they have this weird L type uh, hookup for the propane i've never seen one like that before usually it goes straight to the propane tank and it just won't fit in there correctly so they can't fill me with propane <laughs> it's a run around game now so i found this other place i called them and i'm gonna be going there it's 30 miles away sometimes Propane can be very difficult to find on the road. That's why I would never want an RV with a propane generator. I would want a generator that uh, the, the fuel is the most readily available all over. It is what it is. Obviously, Rick was able to get his filled because he's walking in the store right now. That's cool. Well, I'll have to go get my propane tank filled because I've got pizzas I can cook. You know you got to have the propane for the pizzas and you gotta have that propane for the fridge especially that'll be what i'm doing next oh man hey if you guys are out on the road places that you'll want to look for for propane that'll fill up in our call them first and ask them just because they have propane doesn't mean they'll be able to fill your rv up with propane so call them and ask them specifically can they fill an onboard propane tank because um, a lot of them will just fill up a 20 pound tank or whatever but you can go to tractor supplies uh you can go to u-hauls there's some truck stops like flying j especially well i definitely noticed that i'm getting into the ozark mountains um absolutely beautiful especially the fall colors i did find a place to get propane here um there's an rv and bottle dock right over there got propane it was only a dollar 69 a gallon yes and i have not had sonic in a long time and it was right here and i haven't eaten anything yet today so i thought why not i got a supersonic um breakfast burrito tater tots what'd you get 
like a double cheeseburger. Ooh. Bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. I'm not really big on Sonic most of the time, but you know, this is actually really good. I'll try it out here. It's good. <laughs> you guys, the funniest thing just happened. Hold on, I got a busy intersection up here. So right after, pretty much right after I turned off the camera, when I was at Sonic there, this lady in like her 50s that works there uh, at the Sonic, she came out and she said, we all want to know what you're up to with that camera. They could probably tell I was a Yankee or something. I don't know. I don't really, I don't know. Anyways, uh, but I said, oh, I just go around videotaping and stuff like that. She said, yeah, no, you can't be doing that around here. Um, we got trade secrets. <laughs> we got trade secrets. I don't know what kind of trade secrets that I could film sitting outside of a Sonic. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, something that, do I have the luxury of seeing something that nobody else could walk up and see? Is there some secret somewhere? I don't know. You couldn't read any of the prices, the menus, or anything from where I was sitting. Not like I don't see that can't really be a secret. Anyways, but because it's public knowledge, you just walk right up to it and see it. <laughs> but <clears throat> I've never been approached more than being in Arkansas. It's like a Maybe it's an Arkansas thing. They're just, they like to approach you like with things that they don't like. I've noticed especially with video cameras, they do not like the video camera stuff. I don't, don't ask me, you know. <laughs> Teach their own, you know. This is a beautiful, beautiful state though. I mean, look at this. And I'm getting into the Ozarks here. Isn't that guy scared that he's going to tip over? Man. Oops, I'm... I hope I don't get pulled over for that. That was... I was looking at that tractor and pulled off the road a little bit. Anyways, uh, I better let you go. My goodness, it's beautiful out here. But I wonder why I get approached so much in, in Arkansas. I wonder if they <clears throat> talk to me and that they can tell from my accent that I'm a Yankee and then maybe they don't like me or something just just because I'm from the north. Are they still trying to fight that southern war or something? I don't know. They realize it's over, right? We're, we, we can all be friends now. I had, uh, my grandpa was from the south and my grandma was from the north. I have no beef with anybody, but if somebody's gonna hate me just because of where I'm from, I mean, then that's ridiculous. Then I'm gonna tell them what I think. I can't think of any other reason that, that I'd be approached so much when I'm in the south. And that, unless they're just, maybe that's a southern thing, I don't know, maybe, Maybe they're just more outspoken or something. I know up in Minnesota, it's considered people are considered Minnesota nice, and nobody really says anything to anybody else. That's the culture I'm used to, and maybe uh, down here in the South, everybody just says everything to each other. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure everybody and their mama's gonna answer me in the comments, though. All you uh, Southerners and all that. Hey, you guys are Southerners and I love you. I hope you guys love me too. Just cause I'm a Northerner. 
doesn't mean we can't be friends.